the son? Uh, on behalf of our family, my mom, uh, Marielle, Tonton, uh, we'd like to extend our deepest gratitude to the whole Philippine Women's University community, uh, Tita Helen, Tita Hamilu, for the preparations that were made for my dad. Uh, I'm sure my dad would be trying to hide inside his urn right now because he was definitely not a man for fanfare. Um, he was a very simple man. My dad was never one for, for a lot of uh, festivities. He just did his work quietly, um, reached out to people. If, if I guess if there were four things that he wanted to be remembered for the most, um, they were his love for family, his value of hard work, his integrity, and his compassion. Uh, we all know that Philippine Women's University has a very special place in his heart. He, he made sure to stick it out with the university because he believed, number one, in family. Uh, he believed that this was the legacy of his grandparents and sometimes he took it upon himself to try to, be, to make the change, to be the change that he wanted to see in the university. He knew, that there, he knew or he knows that there's so much potential in the university and in his own little way, that is what he worked for every day. The second value that um, I admired most about my dad was his love for hard work. Um, they say, you say that uh, he's a miracle worker, but I think more than being a miracle worker, the miracles were a result of putting in the hours every day, uh, of going through the details, of making plans with the people involved. The third value that I guess he would like to be remembered for was his integrity. Uh, my dad always said what he meant and he meant what he said. Um, he was always ready to, to back up what he said with actions. He was a very practical man. Lastly, the, the fourth value that my dad wanted, want, would probably want to be known for was his compassion. I remember whenever I would visit here in BWU, he would introduce me not only to the administrative staff, not only to the deans, but also to the bus boys in the cafeteria. And I was very uh, touched at how friendly and how much gratitude they felt for him. My dad would be happy if everybody here in the university would just try to live by those four values that he, that he cherished. I'm sure uh, in, his, in his urn or up there in heaven, maybe as you approach your celebrations 2020, he will be happy seeing the, seeing the changes, seeing the sacrifices being made by the university to continue his legacy. So thank you very much and our family is very deeply appreciative of what you have done for him.